My name is Marco Neves. I am from Portugal. I'm an informatics teacher, and I've been a consultant in the um, field of digital uh, education for the, the last years. We have um, four uh, different uh, subtopics. One is about AI to support teaching. And here we are mainly um, making a reference about the tools and the platform that can support uh, the teacher in terms of evaluation, assessment, and also uh, monitoring the, the students or even facilitate the, um, all the work of, of the teachers. Another uh, subtopic in the learning with AI is about AI for teaching students. And we have different kinds of platforms here that can be integrated in the teaching and learning process. Uh, one of them is, for example, the intelligent or the dialogue based uh, teaching systems. Yeah. This is a, a, a particular field. We are focused more in terms of, of, of the students, but we also have the dialogue based teaching systems, the exploratory learning environment. So there is different types of tools and platforms here that can be used. And a uh, uh, last subtopic is about AI to support diagnostic and system-wide planning. And here we have, uh, for example, also related to learning analytics or even uh, tools that can help students with different uh, learning difficulties, such for example, dyslexia. In this particular, we are um, seeing uh, different kinds uh, of tools that can be used to, for example, to support the students to learn different kinds of language. And we have uh, apps that can easily be used by teachers and also by students. We also can see different tools in the field of maths, for example, that can be very useful in terms of support the learning process of, of the students. And we are starting also to see different tools that can be very uh, useful for teachers in terms of uh, assessment. Some examples could be AI tools for collaborative learning, continuous assessments, for example, for, for the students, um, some kind of AI learning companions so that the student can interact and have some kind of support and, 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 and feedback. Not only focus on the tradition assessment, but also be able to inform teachers and students about different uh, uh, other, uh, other skills, such as we know uh, nowadays um, as uh, soft skills. In, in this particular, uh, we have to be aware um, about the ethical obligations, for example, of private uh, organizations, so the developers of AI in, in education. Also in terms of the public authorities, such as schools and in, in universities that are involved in the AI education uh, research. But we have also to be aware about the ethical implications of not being able to easily um, know how these deep decisions are made um, uh, by these uh, AI algorithms nowadays, uh, mainly in terms of uh, neural networks. And also, what are the ethical consequences of encouraging students uh, to work autonomously with this AI uh, supported um, software? It's very important that we create the opportunities for the teachers to know what is AI, how AI is impacting our lives, so they can bring this subject to the classroom. Also take a look about um, the subjects they are teaching, how they are being impacted by AI. So students be aware about AI.